All right, Davis, staying back there, guys. Why? Because right there, as y'all seen, everything was falling down, falling apart. So, in case we get stuck in here, he can actually go get help. There goes Oscar. And look, he's saying that up here, all these rocks right above us, they look like they're gonna fall apart. That's actually a lot of water dropping, and it drops and drops, and it just makes these two little ponds that look like oily. So all this mountain, I imagine if this could be the third level, I imagine 50 meters up, you have another level, another 50 meters up, you have another level, and another 50 meters up, and you have the final level at the top, the first level. So one, two, three. This could be the fourth, fifth, sixth. Good morning. Today we're in Atlan, Jalisco. It's a town that we've been to here several few times. And today we came to another mining cave. The mining cave of the pumpkin. La Mina de la Calabaza. I don't know if y'all can see, but over there where my finger is, there's a small hole. That's the entrance. That's where we're going in through. Today, as always, we're with Oscar. We're with David. And Jalisco. Let's get this adventure going, guys. I hope y'all enjoy. Let's get into it. Let's do it, guys. I don't know if y'all can see this whole mountain. I don't know if y'all can see the greenish parts of it. But David's telling me that all of that is copper. So it makes sense for this to be a, a mining cave. Look, there's a little square structure. And I'm imagining that right there, it was the... They had a, the sign of this mining cave. Look guys, there goes Oscar. He's the first one that's gonna go into the mine. Then David, I'm gonna let Jalisco go after David and I'm gonna go last. I imagine there was a big entrance here, but somehow it was sealed off. Or, yeah, that's the only thing that I could think of. And here goes David. There he went. And here goes Jalisco. As you notice, we give each other a little bit of time to go in there. Why? So whoever's going in after doesn't drop any rocks. Well, let's go see what's inside this mine, guys. This mine, uh, right now, some people that know about rocks. Oh, wow, amazing. They're actually uh, studying some rocks out here. And we got a special permission to come in here. And it looks amazing. I can feel the wind coming from in there. Let me turn on the light. And let's go in here. Let's go. Look guys. And we just came in. If I'm not mistaken, this is the cave that if y'all go watch my first mining video, where we came to visit this mining town. This miner told us about this cave, this mining cave. And he said that it led from one town to another. I don't know if it's still that deep because I just see the guys here. But it's amazing guys. Okay, so I see the mine level was right there. And all that is what they covered up. Alright, let's go see what we find and what we see. It's honestly pretty big. And let's see where it leads to. 
Look at guys. The wall is covered in mineral. Look at all these crystals. Look at that yellow crystal, guys. Wow, that's beautiful. That is truly beautiful. Look at that. Let me get out the way. Uh, look, beautiful. Wow, it's, look, it's really high. The other mines that I've been to, I don't think they were this high. Look, look how tall it is. And all at the top, it's glittery. Yep, look, it's full of mineral. Wow. There's more greenish right there. Yep, so like I told y'all outside that the mountain was all green and that it was full of copper. And there's a bunch of copper around here, guys. And then, guys, water just filtering from those rocks. There's so many things in here, guys, that I'm just amazed by. Look like there's a bunch of mineral, white mineral on the ground. But there's not a lot of water like in the other mine that we went to. I hope you Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful rock, guys. Even, even yellow crystals. Oh man, I didn't bring my backpack. I'm gonna have to carry this one. This one's a keeper, guys, and it was loose right here on the ground. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this rock. Look. Let's keep walking. I don't know if y'all can see it from the camera since I know my flashlights are going low. Look guys, another one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can already see my wife kicking me out. Look, truly amazing rocks. It seems like over here it crumbled down, but it looks like this it still goes. I know it's a little bit dark, that's why I'm trying to catch up to the guys. But I'm just amazed by everything I see, guys. The floor is so sparkly. There's all kinds of pretty rocks in here. I just heard Jalisco said that it keeps going. We thought that maybe it just got to here. But let's keep going. Everything is just shiny. Look. Look at this. Yes, sir. I got you. Yeah. They're telling me that we got to really be careful. Because the ceiling above us, little by little, it's falling down. It's falling apart. So we have to watch out and not touch any part of the ceiling. So that way the rest of the rocks don't crumble down and we're stuck inside this mine. That would be something scary to be honest. Here comes David back there, look guys. And it just keeps going and going. Look, this is what Oscar was saying. And look, it looks like the rock is about to fall. So if you even touch it, even with a little fingertip, boom, it will go down. Alright guys, we really got to be careful. Even though I was just about to fall. You got to really watch where you step. There's a baby bat right there. I'm not trying to disturb it. Y'all know how much I hate them. Or how much I love them, I mean. It looks really dark. This way. And look, that looks like another little chamber. But we're sticking together in this. Wow. 
Look how big it is up in here now. I don't know if that story is true. Probably is. Probably not. But they told us, like I told you earlier, that this mine leads to another town. Look, here's another drop. And that's a deep drop. I don't know how deep. I think this is the end. Llega hasta aquí. ¿Dónde? Llega hasta aquí nomás. Ahí ahí es la montaña. No, pero ahí es. Ah, caray. Look at this, guys. I don't know if y'all can see up there. A little bit of light that's coming in. But I see a bunch of beams going across. So I imagine there's other caves around here that lead to other parts of the mine, I believe. There goes Oscar. And look, he's saying that up here, all these rocks right above us, they look like they're going to fall apart. And let's go check it out. Let's go see what this leads to. There goes Oscar. I'm going next. Then one of the other guys, but we have to give us time. Why? So the rocks don't, don't crumble down. All right, Oscar's in there, guys. Now I gotta go in there. I gotta be careful not to touch this top. But to go all the way to the bottom. Let's go. It just gets to here. We're not gonna go that way because I also see water in there. But this way it keeps going. Let's go find out what else there is in here. Guys, I'm all right, I'm truly blown away by by this mine. I think so far this has been the biggest, biggest mine that we've been to. And look over there by where Oscar is, there's a big old what is it uh eight by eight beam or no it's a 12 by 12 beam that it's all crumbled down but oscar's gonna check it out because it might be a little bit too dangerous and we might not be able to keep going this is amazing guys look i imagine the sticks up there are like these that were used to just hold these rocks again this rock is not solid well, this is ignition to dynamite if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what Oscar tells us. Alright guys, I just got green light from Oscar to continue. Let's go ahead and see what's on this other side. What's over there, brother? I'm uh, I'm uh, Alright. Look guys, this one's all crumbled up. Oscar said we gotta be careful. So right here, I'm really gonna be careful. Up here, right above me, guys, I'm not even gonna look up because as y'all seen, I got the flashlight right on the ears. There's two bats right on top of me. And as y'all know, I love them. Hey, yes, sir. Okay, let's keep going. Oscar's telling me that they must come. Hey, vatos, dice Oscar que tienen que venir para acá, de plano. Let's go find out and see what's on this side. Look, guys, I'm amazed by this. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, guys. There's a hole. I shot no this this red tag right here. It says danger. And Oscar sees why. That's a, who knows how deep it is. We're not gonna throw a rock in this case. Why? Because everything's so loose and that rock causes vibration. And that can make other rocks 
fall down. Guys, I'm amazed by this mine. I did not think it was gonna be this huge. But it's totally amazing. Let me wait for the boys so I can let them know to be careful when they get to this area, guys. I'll keep recording in a minute. All right, Davis staying back there, guys. Why? Because right there, as y'all seen, everything was falling down, falling apart. So in case we be stuck in here, he can actually go get help. Look, I think this is another big old hole. Up. Look guys, that looks like a little waterfall right there. I don't know if you are able to see it, but it looks like a waterfall. It makes a turn. It goes out to another hole that says, be careful. And then we got another drop right here. I don't know how far it keeps going. There's a bunch of leaf. I believe that's another drop where, where air comes, air flow. Remember in these mines, they have to make, they have to make holes that lead to the top in order for air to come in. Just like this one, look guys. And if you notice at the top, there's wooden beams. Wow. This mine is truly amazing. And it just keeps going and going. Another danger sign. And it looks like it's another drop. Big time. Look, guys. Right there. Look at all this mineral. These are little watermarks. Look, yo. Look, they're all over. Wow, look at this, guys. I hope you're able to see it just like I am. But look, it looks beautiful. Look, the whole way in here looks like the white the white stuff y'all see. It looks like if it was a small light show. Yeah. And truly beautiful, truly amazing. And honestly, I was a really bit... Uh, look at this, guys. Wow. Look at all these crystals. I was a bit doubtful guys because I thought that it was not going to be this deep. But apparently as y'all see, it just keeps going and going and going. So I definitely believe that it can lead to the other town. And look at all the mineral everywhere guys. It's truly amazing. Look at this. Now Jalisco going went back because David is over there in the entrance and, he's, and he just told us that it just keeps going and going. So in a minute he's going to come in here with David and they'll record the blue mineral. i never seen blue mineral. Look at this guys. Truly amazing. Let me keep going. That one don't stay too far away from Oscar. But look. It keeps going, guys. I think maybe it just gets to here because all of a sudden... Oh, I thought I seen something move. Keeps going? Alright. Wow. Look at this, guys. Super beautiful. Look at all the crystals on the wall. Look. Beautiful, look. As y'all notice, Oscar's checking to see if we can keep going because if you notice, 
it all fell down right here. Let's keep going. See how far it goes. But look, even the even this wood. Look at all the crystal minerals on it. Wow. Look at this. It looks like if it was snowing. The whole ceiling, the whole floor. It's all white. Look. Wow. This is beautiful, guys. Look at this. As far as it gets? Yeah. All right. Let me just... As y'all know, look at all these wooden beams, guys. And it does not keep going. It just gets to here. Yep, it just gets to here, guys. But look at all this mineral on the wall. Honestly, it's really amazing. Beautiful. And I did not think this cave was gonna be this deep. Honestly, I'm mean, truly amazed and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, look at this blue mineral. If I'm not mistaken, that there's another passage that we still have to go. Alright guys. Look at that on the ground. We're gonna keep we're gonna make our way out guys. Y'all already seen the way in. So let's go see what else we find. Well guys, and we're back to the dangerous part that we have to walk past. And honestly, you gotta really, really be careful. Look at this guys. All the little gold flakes that you see on here. Amazing. Look at that one. That's a big old flake. Let's let Oscar go first, give him time, and then I'll go. This is the dangerous part about these explorations sometimes, guys. That you can risk being trapped on the other side, or that a rock can fall on you. Alright guys, this is the part where I told you how they went to go in, because I thought there was water. But... They just confirmed to me that there's not water. That there is water that's being born from here. And it's actually a lot of water dropping. Look guys. That's actually a lot of water dropping. And it drops and drops. And it just makes these two little ponds that look like oily. And then from there I imagine that it's dripping to the bottom. As y'all seen in the mining video. From my bottom, I don't think I told y'all guys, but right there, the guy told her there was eight levels that dropped all the way to the bottom. And yeah, I believe that now. I y'all see me with all the drops. Let's see what's on this side. I remember how when we first came in through that part where Jalisco is, we said, look, there's three ways to go. And here's another one. Look guys, here's another big old drop. And that's what we, I was referring to eight levels. So this I imagine is the main level, I'm thinking, and that drops you down to the second level, and then another hole drops you down to the third level, and to the fourth, fifth, sixth, all the way till you get to the eighth. So I can only imagine the beauty that's all the way at the very, very bottom. But the, how dangerous it can be as well. This other side looks like it continues again. 11,100. I think it just gets to there, to where Oscar's at. Let's see. If I see him go further, I'll go all the way over there. Look guys, that's where we're telling you that it's copper. Let's go see what we see in this chamber. Now I didn't get this part guys. But David's saying that when he went in there, 
he remembered the way to get in there. But when he was coming back, he was like, I didn't go straight. I turned somewhere. So yeah, it's a little bit confusing. So yeah, guys, imagine if we got, or I got lost and David got confused right there. Imagine how the bottom levels are. This is just like a maze. Man. This, this mining cave, honestly, it's the deepest one I've been into. It's really, really extraordinary. All right, guys, that's it from this mining cave. Let's make our way out. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all liked it. It's rare that, eh, that someone will come in this place. Why? Because first of all, to get in here, you have to go through a gate that has a lock. Second of all, it's not allowed. As soon as they see these people, they can tell you to get out of the property. And thirdly, because of the danger of all the rocks that are falling from the rooftop. So, yeah, guys, we're out here risking it, showing you the, some of the beauties from Mexico. All right, guys, we got to the point where the entrance of the mine is, and we've seen these two other areas that we left for last. But nope, they're not even deep. Or I believe I did show you. I would have to check. But that's it from this mining cave. Honestly, it was very beautiful. I hope y'all liked it and I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's a beauty. Mother Earth looks underground. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's make our way out. I'm going to let the boys go out first. There goes Oscar. There goes Jalisco. Here went Jalisco. And here comes David. Look what this little hole led to. Honestly, this this mining cave was amazing. I did not think it was going to be that deep. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be that many levels. But right now, uh, Jalisco and David were saying that this could be the third level because there was more levels that, that were coming from up there. So all this mountain has a bunch of levels where they used to mine that. We're finally out. All right, guys. That's the little hole that took us to the mining cave. Hope y'all enjoy it. All right, guys. So more rocks to the collection. Look at this rock right here. I don't know if y'all were able to distinguish all the silver looking, but that looks really, really amazing. That, I found it right here along. And I got a few more rocks that that I found in the mine, look guys. Let me show y'all this one. Ah, it's pretty big and I have it in the back pocket, hold on. This one, look. Look at all the crystals on it. Yellow crystals. It looks amazing. And look, it has a bunch of little gold flakes as well. And I found another one. This one. Look, with a bunch of gold flakes as well, guys. So all this mountain, I imagine if this could be the third level, I imagine 50 meters up, you have another level, another 50 meters up, you have another level, and another 50 meters up, and you have the final level at the top, the first level. So one, two, three. This could be the fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight drops. Amazing, guys. They say we're all into this. <laughs> Oscar got a big old rock collection over here, I believe. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's it from this adventure. Honestly, the mine was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.
And we're about to make our way back because it's getting late. I hope y'all enjoy. And let's say bye to the boys. Jalisco over there. David. And Oscar. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. That little hole. That's where we went in through. Till next time. Peace.